Hello team. In this video, I would like to brief you about uh, case problem five, chapter five case problem. So if you look at the case study after reading it, mostly it is it involves a lot of theory. So uh, let me brief you about that. So in this case study, we mostly apply uh, cluster analysis. So the first question uh, is a simple data set is given and like this, uh, this, there is a data set. On this data set, we have to perform cluster analysis and uh, we should provide solutions to them. So the first question is we should calculate Manhattan Euclidean distance. So usually when we have a different type of uh, data, means like for example, this is a binary data, the chances of only zeros and one, and this is numerical values, which is an income statement. We cannot calculate uh, distance between two different type of attributes. So because uh, that, that provides inappropriate results. Okay, so related to this, I have provided uh, some good information here. So you just read this, uh, rewrite it uh, as for the understanding. A simple funda is that when we want to apply Manhattan Euclidean distance, it is very important that uh, individually, it is very important that the two columns that are selected should have similar type of data. Okay. If not, it is highly difficult for anyone to, uh, highly difficult and it is uh, not an appropriate approach to apply Euclidean distance kind of thing. All right, just uh, for, for first one, after writing uh, introduction, just uh, introduction to the case study, just rewrite this paragraph and give a nice heading. A same heading is not required. You just give a proper heading and re paraphrase this one. Next, we are supposed to create eight different clusters using k-means analysis. So for that, uh, I might be sharing you this uh, solution sheet, which consists of eight different clusters that are related to age, income, and children. Okay, you just use these clusters. When we are describing these clusters, so the first cluster consists of uh, uh, data of uh, Averages like um, whose age is 58.4, average of income is 29.396, and the children is children value is 0 0.38. See, when we are in, in inserting, so we have a data set. The data set is divided into different clusters. When you are uh, inserting a value, inserting a new data row, which consists of details related to age, income, and children. So we will be selecting to which cluster the data is going to belong. So for example, if the age is uh, in that data, age if age is 58 approximately and uh, income 29 and children 0 0.38 and 0 0.38. And when these characteristics count, ignore this count value. When these three characteristics match, the data will be stored in cluster one. So whatever the data like this 600 columns of uh, 600 rows of data, when we classify it, when we divide into eight different clusters, this is how it formed. Okay, based on these values, when a new data we want to include in the data data set, based on these values, we will be including it in that particular cluster. Okay, so clustering is a simple concept. If you read about it, you will understand. Okay, so just take all these eight clusters, copy paste here, eight different clusters, and for each cluster, describe in two, two to three lines. After that, we are supposed to provide some sort of interpretation. You just uh, read this one and uh, rewrite it in one paragraph of your own. So it should answer these two questions mandatorily. What is, so these two are very important. So what are the weaknesses does it have? What are the benefits of applying this uh, cluster analysis, k-means cluster analysis, and what are its weaknesses? These two things should be addressed, okay? That is all about this case. Help yourself. Mostly it is a rewriting kind of thing. So I uh, expect you people to write it in a proper way. All right. Make sure you cross check for plagiarism and uh, no plagiarism is should exist in your document. All the best thing. It should be in report format. Just follow the structure of the report that is given to you. Thank you.